Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Today we're going to try a crayfish imitation. I tried a couple of these before on my channel, but the ones I tried before has been on pretty heavy jig head hooks and have been designed for the spinning rod. Today we're going to try a crawdad imitation for the fly rod. I call this the baby craw. Let's get on to the tying. Hang on. Okay, I got a mini jig hook in the wise and a small tungsten bed attached. Then I attach the tying thread. I go a little bit down in the bend on this short hook. Then I prepare the woolly sparkle dab. Dub it onto the thread, tighten up and make a, a bump of dubbing. I'm gonna use that to spread the other materials. Well, I'll take a pair of these pre-made eyes. I tie them on the underside of the hook and that will be the top side when the fly is in the water. This fly is going to ride point up. I'm going to prepare a feather for the legs or feelers of this baby craw. That's what I'm going to need here. Not a lot of fibers. Preparing the feather this way gives a, a steam, like a handle to hold on to while I wrap the haggle. Then I take some squirrel tail hair, make a small bunch of each side of the hook, slightly longer than the haggle fibers. Cut these uh, here at an angle to help build the cone shaped body of a crawdad. I'm 
and say goodbye of Willy Sparkle Dub. Make these loose wraps and tighten up and pull all the fibers backwards. Same procedure here with another bunch. Pulling the fibers backwards. And another bunch. finish cut away the thread and brush out the stopping to get all the loose fibers out of there Go in with a scissor. Try to make a cone shape here. To simulate the body of a crawdad. That's the front view. Okay guys, that's all for today, the baby crawl. Thanks for watching.